Yeah. Is this getting edited, by the way? No, because of that answer. Every, every, everything I said. After, after, after okay. Edward's answer, is this getting edited? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm always thinking about my bad answer. One question. I'm just wondering, is it getting edited at all? Uh, yeah, I do. I listen to quite a lot of Greek folk music, mainly from the island that I'm from, Karpathos, and then um, just some general like folk, Greek folk collections. Um, quite a lot of Nigerian music, like Tony Allen and Fela Kuti, like recordings from the 70s. Um, really like some um, music from Mali as well, like Amadou and Mariam. And actually got really into this um, Tropicalia compilation recently which is like a bunch of Brazilian uh, music like protest music from the 60s and that's that's really worth checking out. Well, Gary you, Gary well, Glitter at the NEC. <laughs> First and best. Did you actually go to, did you actually yeah, go mom, to that? Mum and, and John took me there. Wow. Best concert I don't know. I saw, um, well, a few of us, I think it was me and Walter and maybe, I think Edwin, you were here there as well at the Boredoms gig in the New Boredoms York. Gig. Yeah. Um, it, was, it wasn't necessarily like the best gig um, I've ever been to musically, but it was just kind of, we just arrived in New York uh, to record Antidotes. Um, it was like this insanely sold out show and we somehow managed to get in and it was 77 drummers playing for 77 minutes on the 7th of the 7th, 07. Yeah. Uh, Were they playing in a and spiral? It was, uh, a circle. Yeah, it was like a, like a spiral. Um, yeah. And there was like Andrew WK, one of the drummers, and then the guy from Lightning Bowl, and there's a bunch of other bands um, were playing. It was just uh, like quite an overwhelming spectacle to, uh, to see all that. And then we nearly got killed because someone offered us a lift by him. And we, as we got in the car, we realised he was wasted. Hi, Jaden. Um, probably not in there in in the forms that they're in. I don't think we might like go back and maybe revisit a couple of bits. Um, but yeah, you know, may, maybe at some point in the distant future, somebody can trawl through the vaults once we're all like, uh, you know, do a posthumous release once we've all perished. I think probably we'll either rework stuff or I will, we probably won't release it like in its rough form. Um, but uh, yeah, it's still meant to do another demo night actually, which has been in the while in the running for a while. So we'll see if we do that. All that sort of seems to have fizzled out a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. It's now like yeah. a fight for survival. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a, a good question. That's a really good question. Um, uh, I would, <laughs> even though I really like the, even though I, re, though I really like the recording, I do sometimes wonder why we didn't put a third chorus on Inhaler. So maybe, <laughs> and we do that live. So that's that yeah, would be one thing that I would. Recording of in, but Inhaler's really good. Honestly. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't replace the whole recording with a live recording, but I'd take that element of the live structure, maybe. I mean, Two Steps has evolved so much as a live song. So when, when we listen back to the old version, it feels really sort of flat. Um, that, that could be a good one. I think What Went Down, mm. I'll choose What Went Down for me. Really? Yeah, because it's like insanely fierce live. I'm, I'm going to say Night Swimmers because we played it a couple of years ago, a few times. Uh, and it was kind of a studio song and it, it's, it felt a bit different live. Actually, I prefer the Studio, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, was it we were supposed to prefer the live version of the studio? <laughs> yeah, no, I think Jack thought the question was there. Where I'm... Yeah, I flipped the question on his head and just Your house came out really upside nice, down. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's, where are you, um, it's where are you sitting? Wallpaper. Where did you buy that background from? Yeah, exactly. It's just, there's just rubbish everywhere behind me in real life. I've just hung up a wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the um, Fox Theatre in Oakland. That's that's my favourite. Mm. 
one of my favorites. I I feel like I probably wouldn't have answered this like up until right now. But I think when I actually think about the shows that are the most exciting of the bigger ones, some of the really small venues are like a really special known way. But like from a bigger show, I would just say Ali Pali. Because I yeah, think, I gonna, I yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, I feel like we never really say that, but actually the shows that mm. we get kind of the most psyched about and that are the most yeah. life affirming are uh, probably Ali Pali. Also, Ali Pali just looks yeah. so, so awesome because it's just 10,000 people standing. There's no like fussy bits or like seated areas. It's just like a rectangle of heads. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, well, I mean, I, I'd, I'd obviously take the glass of milk in that scenario, but I mean, I'd vomit everywhere. It'd be, I, there's a lot of things I would rather do. There's a lot of things I'd rather do than drink a pint of milk. So, yeah. But no, I'm not going to just leave the band over a pint of milk, am I? I've got really into skipping, like jumping rope. That's the only kind of new thing I've, I've discovered. Jumping a lot of rope. Um, I thought I'd I gotten bought, quite I good at it. I went and saw somebody in a park the other day and I was like, oh, that's how you do it. Because this guy was absolutely next level. <laughs> and now I've got something to aim for. I've been uh, feeding and trying to train hummingbirds. <laughs> what? But it's backfired as I seem to have produced just one really hostile male that scares all the other ones away now. So, so can we have more information about that? You're feeding and training hummingbirds. Well, they're, yeah, we've got a hummingbird feeder and they're like, I didn't realise, but they're like native. How do you train a hummingbird? By taking its food away and giving it back. Oh, to torture. <laughs> Trying to, try to see how close it would get to me. Oh. Uh, yeah, it hasn't worked. I think Pattern might have something to say about that, Jimmy. They are free to choose whatever they want. <laughs> they just choose the crack water that I give them. Um, the, the, only hobby that's, <laughs> the only hobby that's truly new to me is, is wiping down the work surface, um, which I've got really... That is dry, Edwin. Probably, that is, yeah. that is, that is... It's, to be honest, it's, it's, it's deliberately dry. That was the idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, ten times a day. All over the work surface, different types of sprays. It's really using. You can get quite into it. Using Dettol. Uh, no Dettol, no, no. It's a slippery slope, but mm. we'll leave it there. On to the next question. <laughs> um, maybe Neptune, right? Maybe partly because we only got to play it once, right? That um, I think. I don't know, I definitely really itched into play that one and I could see it being a kind of pretty epic closer. Yeah. Mm. That or Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did wonder I did I did wonder whether the director was not having a good time or whether something else was going on. So maybe that's clarified it. Well, uh, slowly, slowly. I took a year off, another year off. I've just been taking years off because, you know, I'm really busy. I was busy and then it's all got cancelled. So it uh, would have been an amazing time to finish it. Unfortunately, I've been wiping down the work surface 10 times a day instead. Um, so I've got one, minute, one more year left and then I'm going to have a maths degree and I'll have nothing to do with it. So, yeah. It's obviously disorient. It's got to be disorient. Yeah, there you that go. That was mm. an absolute shit show. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think, you, no, an, I anagram, an <laughs> anagram of disorient is disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fact. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I guess what, I mean, definitely one thing I was talking somebody about yesterday was um, just being worried that like, um, for example, our interaction with cities primarily, like the idea of going to a town center and like wandering around, going to a bunch of shops, like the high streets, particularly in the UK were already massively in the decline anyway. Um, 
and I guess as some, I quite like just w walking around cities and going into the occasional shop and stuff and like that type of social meandering. I wonder whether it will be quite the same afterwards. I mean, it depends on how things quickly recover. But I guess my fear would be mm. that when eventually all of this is over, we'll, we won't have as much of that type of um, physical kind of interaction um, in terms of in, in, within cities that we had before. And that would be kind of sad. Like Oxford, where we grew up, for example, if we went there and the town centre is like depleted and there's no shops, it would, or very few shops, it would be kind of a bummer. Um, Mm. I guess that would be one thing for me. I'm I'm hoping that it like has some sort of positive effect, that it's like forced the whole world to slow down a little bit, and it's like things like yeah, you know, just like the idea of like big companies like allowing you to work from home forever from now on. Mm. You know that kind of those kind of developments are pretty cool. You know, yeah, that seems on, like on the progressive. Is that is that loads of white collar jobs are going to be done remotely? I think a lot of other things are going to go back to normal pretty fast. Yeah. Assuming this is over by next year, I don't think I don't think like the the centre of the city is going to fall apart so much. I mean, what one thing that um, is going to be amazing is when when we can do shows again, and the people have been waiting for a, a whole year without seeing a single show, and we get to play some shows. That's going to be pretty exciting. We're going to have to get you one of those Zorb balls, Yanis, so you can go to the crowd like Wayne <laughs> yeah, Coyne like Wayne just in, the, in, in a ball. <laughs> yeah. They just, did a, they just right. did, a con they did a concert where everyone was in Zorb balls. Did they actually? <laughs> yeah, the whole crowd was in Zorb balls. That's good. That's really? Fun. Yeah. That sounds good. But that, that yeah. good? that's actually that, like, um, that's a bit cloud. of a concern, isn't it? Because, you know, our shows, and a lot of shows, you've gone into the crowd for a long time. Is that is that going to be it, like even if the shows go back to to normal? Is that going to be something that's kind of unacceptable for a while? And like yeah, things well, like people sort of hiss oh, at me. And yeah, no, I water. think I think so. I think people are going to be pretty weird about like contact for a while. Yeah, yeah I guess that's a use, challenge. I have to use a wipe before he goes into the cloud. I'll yeah, bring over a little squirty bottle. All right, you're good to go. <laughs> Tuna pedal. Oh, come on. <laughs> the fish. Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, I'd, oh, I know. The Line 6, the green Line 6 pedal is badass. What about but that the, early 60s, the, the first ever fuzz pedal that you never used? Well, the one that ran out of battery and now I can't yeah. get the battery out. Yeah. yeah. Can't get the original 60s battery out. <laughs> oh, I'd say the green Line 6 pedal, I don't know what it's called. The delay one, it's badass. <laughs> I don't really have any plans personally to do anything else like that right now. I've got this like uh, music with Tony Allen that I'd really like to finish and get out. But um, Dream Collaborator, uh, Andre 3000 or somebody. Oh yeah, I got it. Sorry, I, I, we don't Zoom much in Farringdon. Oh. <laughs> It's just round down the road from Oxford, isn't it? Hey! All right, boys. All right, how's it going? Fucking hello. hell, it's the fucking falls, all right? <laughs> you look terrifying. Well, you can't be... <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous talking to you boys because you're like the fucking dog's bollocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mate. Why, why do you have right. Cheers, mate. I'm... Have you been to Farringdon? Anyone been to Farringdon? I think so, once. It's no. Is it near Banbury? I've been to find it in London. No, it's 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 fucking up. Sorry, I'm swearing. I'm a bit nervous. It's halfway <laughs> the way. It's on the road to Swindon. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. quite close to Oxford, isn't it? Yeah, Yanis, you like a good night out there, boy. Wait, in Swindon? No, I don't. <laughs> no, Farringdon. <laughs> Proper. Mate, yeah, I'm, I like a good night out anywhere, mate. Yeah, you come to Farringdon, I'll show you a good night out, boy. I'll show you a good night out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on. Okay. Hey Shania! I'm how's, uh, how's, the falls here. Sorry. How's uh, lockdown? How's lockdown been for you, mate? Ah, well. How's it been? It's been. Uh, ah, it's been rubbish, hasn't it? How's yeah. it been for yeah. you, boys? Rubbish. Yeah. 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 Pretty rubbish. I think for everybody. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
Listen, I, I, I'm not really a fan. It's my sister that's a big fan, and she's too shy to say anything. Oh. Her name's oh. Shania. Can you say hello to Shania? Of course you can, yeah. All right. Hi, so Shania. Sh Hi, Shania. Anyway, I got a question for you, boys, if that's all right. right. Would you, would yeah. you be, yes. is, this a, is this like a Q&A? It is, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So the thing is, what Shania and I would like to know, really, is who is, what, or what is, or who are your favourite ever Oxford band ever? And you can't say yourself, The Foles, that's no good. <laughs> Okay. So who are your favourite band? All right, should we take Jack. it in turns? Guys? Yeah. All oh, right, there you go. Does it mean, do you mean like a local band or like, like a Radiohead style band? Cause no, I it's think a local, <laughs> whoever Radiohead comes, style. whoever, whoever, whoever came from Oxford. So it could be, I mean, I've got to tell you, I'm not a fan of all that stuff from the 90s. I, I was never into the Supergrass or the Radiohead bollocks or any of that. But. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> you guys are the dogs. You're a lot better than them. But like, <laughs> we just want to know who, who like, who, yeah, who your favourite Oxford band? All right. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll go first. If, if you discount Radiohead for being maybe, I think, because everyone ever is going to say, going to say Radiohead. So uh, other than Radiohead, I'd say Dive Dive. Uh, we're a really exciting band from Oxford. Good shout. Yeah, they were a cool band. They're I would say a band radio. called. <laughs> I'd say a band called. Um, I reckon Radiohead are personally that they're the best, but um, obviously Ride are great. Uh, but I would choose um, Youth Movies, the band called Youth Movies, or Youth Movie Soundtrack Strategies. They're also known, and uh, they were mates of ours in the early days, and they're awesome. Great. All right, that'll do. <laughs> what about you, Jimmy? You're very quiet. Well, I don't know who's left, really. Because I don't, oh, there's super grass, but I don't really like them. No, they're rubbish. And then, <laughs> they really ride, were rubbish. There's ride, but I've never listened to them. <laughs> uh, I love Dust Ball when I was growing up, but Jack said that. Radiohead are obviously the best. Yeah. Um, oh, dear. Youth movies. Who else is there? I don't know. Well, I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Edwin? Who's uh, your... I, I... I want to pull my copy of Night Shift off the shelf. Yeah. Well. I'm not in my house, <laughs> also, I don't have any copies because that would be ridiculous. Oh. I can't think of any. I, I want to say something really genuine and underground from like 2005, but pff, my brain's melted. So I'm going to say Radiohead because it's just, uh, it's just untrue to say any other band. I've got to take my. Got to take, Edwin. You're the, you're the right oh one. Oh my god! <laughs> oh for God's sake! I knew something. Else. Oh, I knew something was going on. <laughs> Edwin, you are so right. You, you bad man, Ed. Ed, man. How are I you? Knew yeah, was so good. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's good man. to see you. That was a good Farrington yeah, accent. Man. That was very good. Well, that's my manner, isn't it, Farrington? That's where I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, how are you doing? Okay. I'm all right. How are you? That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one. The only one who knows Edwin. <laughs> they all hate Radiohead. They're always slagging them off. I know. <laughs> Thank God for that, though. That was a sticky situation. I couldn't think of any Oxford fans. <laughs> how are you all doing? Are you all right? Yeah, good. Yeah, we're missing you, missing you out on the road. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Listen, well, I you just... were supposed to be on the road too at the moment, or you were with your with your new album, weren't you, Ed? Yeah, I was, but it's, you know, it, yeah, exactly. But um, listen, you know, I know this is this is your Q and A thing, but I just want to say how much I love you guys. I was so I never normally watch the Brits or anything like that, <laughs> but I was so chuffed when you won that Brit. And it was oh, so thank deserved. You. Thank you. It was so deserved. And and uh, yeah, you guys, you guys are legends. <laughs> <laughs> you say that in a Farrington accent. You're the dog's <laughs> bollocks there. Yeah, yeah. Also, I noticed because you kept saying the foals, and it was like I know it's, point, I, it's pointedly yeah. dropped in there. Like. I know. I love doing that stuff. Oh, I'm sure you've had it over the years. Like, oh, it's the radio heads. Where are the radio heads? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you always used to get that at the beginning. And I was hoping that one of you might go, it's actually Foles, not the Foles. Yeah. <laughs> we just let it slide these days. Yeah. yeah. All right, listen. Love you Great guys. You. So much respect. Love Big love. Love you, Ed. Nice one, yeah, man. Keep, love you, keep, keep, 
keep holding the fire. Yeah, bro, you <laughs> too. You. We you hope too. to see, see you soon. soon as well. See you soon. Lots of love. Good to see you, man. <laughs> wow. That was, that was good. That was very good. good. There was definitely, so we, I, I mean, I was thinking, obviously we couldn't discuss that between ourselves, but it was like, yeah. there, was a, there was something up with that. Either it was the most incredible cold caller in. <laughs> Wicked. That was cool. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.